getting in here. I just got up, just did the chicken chores, and I heard a huge thud and crack. And it's got to be a big tree. So I'm going to go take a look. i got to cross over the stream. I think I'll cross over over here. Uh, that looks like one piece of it. I can get that apart with the bow saw. Oh, there's all kinds of... <gasps> look at this, you guys. I knew it was finally going to... You remember that? I was talking about that. It kind of like half on my property, half on their property. It finally came down, you guys. See, that's the property uh, marker. So, oh my gosh. This represents a lot of wood. Oh, thank you, thank you, Heavenly Father. Now I just got to see if um, we can get a chainsaw out here. Um, and of course, I would split the wood with my neighbors if they wanted it. But yeah, there's another nice big piece over there. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can tell what kind of wood that is, but this is what just fell. Thank you that it fell when the children were out here playing because, it, as you can see, it goes right through their their path. Look at that. Yeah, I'll let them know. Ooh, it's got all kinds of pretty little things growing on it. Can't eat them, but... Oh, my goodness. Look at all this wood, you guys. Look at it. <laughs> yeah, we knew it was going to fall. So, this is wonderful. What a blessing, and a blessing that it didn't come down on those children while they are out here playing. <sighs> Alrighty, time to contact neighbor dude. So, it looks like today is going to be a wood chopping up day. And my neighbors don't have a chainsaw, but I know some other people that do. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get one out here today, but at least I can do as much as I can with the bow saw. I love that thing, so I'm going to get to it. And yes, I'm wearing the same clothes as I did yesterday and the day before. I changed my underwear, though. Y'all know that I wear my clothes until they are standing up and walking on their own, don't you? Yeah. So, you know what? Every thumbnail for the next, mm, four days, you're going to see me wearing this shirt and my camo pants. And you know what? You can make it a drinking game. Every time you see Anne's Tiny Life wearing the same clothes or says what not, somebody's got to take a shot. <laughs> got to get my wagon. And my bow saw. Hi, generator. I wonder if I'm going to be able to get my wagon. Hi, Papa. My little wagon from here down into the stream, up there, and all the way over there to where the tree is. Hmm. I don't think I can film it at the same time, but I'm sure going to try. I did it. I got all the way across. And now I just need to get over there. I might be able to pull this over on to the other side of the property and process it there but I'm just going to go ahead and cut this one up here and load the wagon up best I can and take it on back over and then come over here and see if there's anything I can do with any of that. So far I've got some decent sized pieces and that was just all off of that limb that had fallen this way. Um, I've gone ahead and separated the smaller limbs because I really don't need those right now. I'll need them in the future. I'll break those up eventually. So I don't know. I don't know if I can do anything with this with the bow saw, but I'm sure going to give it a try. Hmm. I didn't notice these before. I don't know if these came down with it or they're from an earlier fall. But really I need to clear these out of the way, do something with them, before I start on the big one. And now to start on this big one, I don't think that I'm going to be able to do anything with that down there. But I think I'm going to try and separate at least this part right here and pull it over to the wagon and see if I can get it smaller. About two minutes later, and i got to tell you, I am surprised at what this little bow saw can do. I'm already just about halfway through. I'm going to be able to get this piece off. And she did it. I didn't notice. There's more all the way back there. So I'm going to pull that piece back and work on it next. So far, so good. I already got one big piece sawed off. And before any of you ask, why are you cutting your logs so small? Well, number one, I have a small wood burning stove. Number two, um, I have to cut it in accordance with where stuff is. See, like that, um, okay, this part was attached to that, so I wanted to kind of make, <laughs> cut that in half, and then I had to cut this before this little juncture here. And then eventually, I don't know if I'm going to be able to cut 
that in half once again. I might have to split it first and then cut it smaller lengthwise. But uh, my wood burning stove will only take logs that are so big. So um, I do some of them diagonal, so some of them are going to be longer. But most of them are going to be about this size so that they will fit into the stove. But I think that I'm accomplishing something today. I think that's enough for this wagon full, don't you? Because I have to get it all the way through that brush and all the way behind the tiny house. Oh, goodness. I did it! I gotta tell you guys, this little wagon is a beast. I got all the way through that brush and up this little hill. Didn't think I could do it, but I did it! Go me! All right, y'all, we're back out here. I unloaded all that wood and stacked it up. I'll show you that a little bit later. So I'm gonna try and see if I can make a dent in this tree. I'd really love to get this thing out of the way, but it's providing a little bit of support for this. So, um, hmm. All right, I'm just gonna have to figure out where I'm gonna wanna cut. I'm thinking it's gonna be down towards there and I'm not gonna be able to lift this. I might be able to turn it end over end and then get it over to the wagon. So, uh, well, <laughs> let's see if this old broad can do it. There's my trusty sidekick right by my side. You good boy. Oh yeah, remember this from last year? This tree with this pretty weird looking flowers on it. Don't know what kind it is. Um, I don't know. I think I, I can just get in the middle of there and leave these here and let these little things stay because they're pretty. All right, where should I start? I'm thinking I'm gonna have to start right here because there's a little knot thingy here. There's another one there and I'd have to start down here and I don't want to do that. So about right here it is. I think I'm gonna be able to do this. I did it, yep. Now it's just time to get this thing over to the wagon and I'll cut it up the rest of the way down by the tiny house. Oh, and I forgot about that big piece over there. Oh yeah, that's next. There we go. Now it's time to cut this one up. I think on this one, I don't think I'm gonna be able to turn it end over end and get it over by the wagon. So I'm gonna try and cut at least one piece off of it here and get it over the wagon and you know brace it up against the side of it and cut it into smaller pieces and do the same with this. I'm not sure if I can do it, but I'm sure gonna try. I did it and I got both pieces down over here so all I've got left is that length. I don't think I'm going to be able to tackle that today. I'm running out of energy. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get this cut up. But I'm going to at least try to get this cut up and then get to splitting. Nope. No can do. I just put them both in this wagon here and I'm going to see if I can get it back over to the wood pile over behind the shed. and. I don't know if I'm going to get these cut up today. My energy is gone. I think I can just cut up the, uh, split up the rest of the wood and call it a day. Now i got to split up all this. I'm going to try and see if I can split this funny shaped one. I may need to get that little block that neighbor dude gave me, but we're going to give this a try. Nope, it stops right there. i got to go get the little block. Yikes, the block is too long and it's as far back as it can go, so I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but I'm going to try this little brick here. So let's see if that works. So yeah, it's gonna... I might be able to get the bigger block in eventually. I did it. That worked. And I think that's the only weird shaped one I have. So the rest should be pretty easy. Uh, you've seen me do it before. I'm not gonna even attempt that today. Yep, thank you. And uh, just get all this split up, whoops, and stacked up over here. I'm so stupid. Look, this is all I needed to do. Turn it this way, and it'll work just fine. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder about me. All right, y'all, I got that all cut up. Uh, older stuff is over here. I kind of moved some stuff around. I did go ahead and split the cedar up a little bit more. I may even split it up more just so I can have like one little piece of cedar just for the smell per fire and I can always do that later but oh it just smells so good. So tomorrow I'm gonna tackle that and I got all of this done and I'm thinking just with those pieces oh that one right there was too long for the uh, log splitter so I'm gonna have to 
figure something out about that. Um, hopefully, I will have all of these like up to here with those pieces tomorrow. So I'm thinking I can do it. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. See you in the next video. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.